Hello, I have Lily here. I'm going to show you Lily's training. So I have a place, a dog bed with a bolstered edge. I'm gonna put it down here. Lily knows when she sees a place that we're gonna do some training. Good girl, Lily. And Lily knows she is always rewarded for getting on her place the first time. Lily has been taught to lie down by me taking one finger, pointing at her nose, and then pointing at the ground in front of her and asking her to lie down. I want Lily to sit from that position. I'm gonna cup my hand and draw straight up from her nose. Lily knows hand signals and voice commands. I'll demonstrate again. Point at her nose, point at the ground, ask Lily to lie down. Cup your hand and draw straight up. Ask Lily to sit. Good girl, Lily. Lily has been taught to come to me when she sees a closed fist. That's how I convey to Lily that I want her to come where I'm at. Lily knows when she sees a closed fist, her job is to come over, put her nose on my fist, and then sit afterwards. Sitting is the canine equivalent of please. I don't have to ask her for that portion of the behavior. She just knows it's required. I rewarded her for returning to her place like a very good girl. And I'll demonstrate the touch again. Here's the fist, the puppy, like nose bump. Oh, I hope you can see her. And the flight sit afterwards without me asking her to do so. Good girl, Lily. Lily has been sleeping in a wire kennel at night. If I want her in this wire kennel, to open up the door and I'll pat the bedding, reward Lily when she's all the way inside and shut the door. Good girl, free puppy. Lily has always ridden in a plastic kennel in the car. The principle is the same. Open up the door, pat the bedding, reward her when she's all the way inside, and shut the door. Good girl, free puppy. Lily knows to sit during certain circumstances without me asking her to do so, and those include when she sees her collar, an easy walk harness, a leash, a dog bowl, or wants attention. I'm going to demonstrate that by showing Lily an easy walk harness. Wait for her to come over and do the appropriate behavior. Once she sits politely without me asking her to do so, I can slip the harness over her head. The rule is when I have a collar, a leash, or a harness, Lily has to sit close enough to me that I don't move my feet. Because if I have to take one step towards her today, tomorrow I'm going to be taking two steps, and by the end of the week I'm going to be chasing a puppy named Lily around the house. So if she doesn't sit close enough you, to you, you can make a little kissing noise. That reminds Lily to move closer. You also want to remember to work with Lily in a small area with less distractions in the beginning. When she jumped in the air like that, I just waited for her to sit politely. So, of course, and she did not make any contact with me or I would have corrected that behavior. And the last thing that Lily knows, Lily knows when she sees a dog bowl, if she wants the contents of that bowl, there's a behavior she must provide. I show Lily the bowl, wait for her to sit politely without me asking her to do so, and then I can reward Lily with the contents of the bowl. There she is, your very beautiful girl, Lily.